Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks. Um, I'm going to probably have to do this in a couple sections or sessions here to show you how I am making a Pinocchio hat for a birthday party. Um, what I did is I went into Google and I typed in Pinocchio hat and I find all these templates. They're made out of felt. They're made out of, I mean, I couldn't find anything made out of paper. All I could find was this flat image. The first thing that I did is I tried to make it flat and uh, that did not work. So let me see here. I opened it up in another, there it is. And I just copied it and I pasted it in the silhouette. And what I did is traced it and cut it out. And I thought if I made it large enough that uh, I could push it open and fit it on a head, but that didn't work. So I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how I was going to do it. And what I came up with is I made a square. This is a four by four inch square. And I made it about, I tried to, I made a smaller hat here because I didn't want to waste a bunch of paper trying to, uh, a sample. And I'm going to line this four by four square up on my lines here so that I can take, and first thing I'm going to do is to make sure I have the same color, I used my eyedropper and colored it in. And then what I did is, um, let me shut my ringer off on my phone here. Then what I did is I determined the middle to be right here, and I want to cut it off and go to that corner because I want to make a triangle and I know there's other ways you can do it but this is what was easiest for me and then I removed those then what I did is I wanted to have a, a tab to tape and my line is showing as a dotted line here I don't want it I wanted a solid line so I'm going to go in here and change that to solid and I'm going to take and color that as well and I'm going to line it up here on the side of my hat I wanted it a little bit longer and line it up push it over and then I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to flip it horizontally whoops I flipped the triangle didn't want to do that I wanted to flip that tab whoops um, I'm sorry, flip this, and then I'm just going to take my arrow key and move it over so it stays lined up how I want it, and come on, I know there's a faster way of doing this, however, this is how I figured, figured it out, and it worked for me, so you know what, if it worked for me, then I'm using it. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to weld it together. Modify and weld. This one did not weld. So what I need to do is undo what I did. And this one needs to be pushed over just a little bit more. And I think that'll do it. And then weld. I could see a line that it wasn't far enough over. There we go. Now I'm going to finish this one up so I don't go over in my time and then I'll show you what I did with it after I got this far. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just tried to do the recording on this piece and it did not work. So I recorded putting the hat together and said it didn't, that this didn't work and we're going to try it again. So this is my next attempt. Let me see. The box that I was working with that I lost was a 4x4. Four let me see what I got here. This is, let me change the size, and which I should have done before I started this. It's really driving me crazy because this program is not allowing me any time at all to do what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to color the box in, and I want the color of the hat. Then what I did is I lined it up using the grids from the mat so that I could cut my from corner from the center to the corner to get the piece that I needed on the 4x4 four four. get rid of this one get rid of this one then what I did is I made a tab and this is where I got stuck on the last one let me color this and turn it 
and line it up here and butt it together and whoops I don't know what happened there but I think I dropped something on my keyboard and I'm going to cut this off here and duplicate this tab. I'm going to flip it. Not the triangle. I'm going to flip this tab. And I'm going to move it over here so it's lined up. Move this one in a tad. Then I'm going to take them, weld them together modified and weld so it's one piece then I'm going to take my line my I want my perforated line and I'm going to go from the center down to where I connected it and the center again and down to where I connected that tab and I want whoops let me change my perforated line to the larger one and I want that line to, that's too long here. I'm just going to erase it. It's not going to do anything anyway, but just so you can see. Then up here at the top, I cut this off and I flip this around and move it over here to cut this side off to match. And the video, whoops, the video will show why I cut that corner off. And this is how I got the piece that I need so I can put the hat together. I've already cut it out and, and done the video um, using this size here. And hopefully this one will save. Let's give it a shot and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I tried to do part two on my uh, computer and show you how I made the tab. However, it wouldn't let me save it, so I don't know if it was it was too long or if there's something else going on. I need to call Apple and find out. Um, I'm just going to kind of explain, and after I put this together, I will go back and try again to see if I can show you how I did it on the silhouette. I've got the hat cut out, and I did it... Uh, I suppose I could have checked that out 12 inches long and this is the piece that I was talking about you're not going to be able to see but I did a perforation here so I knew where to fold it and it folds very easily I put a tab on it and welded them together and then cut off at an angle um, I'm going to try and go back and record it again the reason I cut it off as an at an angle is so that it would fit in here the way I wanted it to. On the hat, what I'm going to do is I did it double-sided, flip for the front and the back, and now I'm going to go in here and put this part together with my ATG tape. And I'm only going to go as far as the feather up to this, up to this point here is all I'm going to connect it. Oh, I tell you, I think I'm going to have a long night here. I'm having troubles with everything. I don't know. One of those days. See, and originally when I did it, it was all taped together, and then I was trying to make it like this to put a kid's head in it and it was not working and I could not for the life of me find a template for a hat that um, didn't entail sewing and I don't sew. So with that said, this is why I had to figure out a way to do it out of paper. Now I'm going to put this triangle in here, flip it over so I can see and line it up where I want it. And right there and I'm going to flip it over tape on the other side and then I'm going to line this up on the other side 
and tape that in. And there went my feather. Come back here. Sorry about that. A feather flew away. So, now with that in there, I've got a hat that stands out. And what I'm going to do for shipping purposes is I'm going to take and make that a fold. And I'm going to crease it with my bone folder. There we've got Pinocchio's hat. Um, I might have to put a little elastic band for the child's head underneath or to put it around his chin um, to put it on and hold it down. Of course, it's not going to fit on my big head, but I tried it on my grandson earlier who is four and my granddaughter and it fits. That's how I did my Pinocchio hat. Now what I'm going to do, just to add my flare, is I'm going to add a feather my feathers that flew away and I know it has a bigger one on here but that's okay I can deal with that and there we go and I'm going to flip it over and put a feather on the other side and there we go come on Boy, I got in here and I was freezing cold said my husband's got the air conditioning turned on so it's snow in the house and I don't think it was it was so cold in here there we go so there we have my Pinocchio's hat now I'm going to go back onto my software and see if I can show you again how I made this piece um, but again that was the only thing I could come up with because I couldn't find anything that wasn't made out of felt and I really just wanted a paper hat. And I know I could have done a cone, a, a, a cone shaped hat. There's all sorts of things that you could do, but I really wanted it to look like a real Pinocchio hat. So I will go back with that other software and see and try again if that will work. The next thing I'm going to be doing is an Elsa and Anna centerpieces that are different than anything I've done. So I'll be back. Bye bye.